All right, so we're on to the second part of the PTO repair. <clears throat> We've cut this piece off. We've added a new bushing on. We're going to get our final dimensions here. And this piece here, we're looking at 2 inches, 0 0.125, <clears throat> so 2 and a quarter. Yeah, that's going to be our rough cut. We're going for uh, 2 inches, 120. And then we have a, just a little larger shoulder here, which is going to give us a total of 2 inches, 0.166. So that's over 2 and a quarter. So we'll go for that overall dimension first. And then we'll, uh, we'll go for our final dimensions after that. All right. <clears throat> so here's our uh, new piece welded on. We've had to build up the, the bushing that we ordered because it was a little small. Like I said, we're going to be bringing it to a rough cut of uh, 2 inches, 2 and a quarter inches, 2.125. We got a drive speed of around 170, which is using a high speed tool bit. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of a beating with all the weld buildup. Okay, so there we go there. Let's see if we're getting a little better uh, camera position. All right, so we'll touch off. Like I said, we're spinning around 170 RPM. There's a little touch off there. Okay, we'll try for a 20,000th cut. I got my feed set at around 4,000 uh, revolution. Looks like I'm touching. Okay, so we're going point thou. It's only a little 10 inch Logan, so we're going to ease into the cuts. Wait till we get into a more consistent cut. back on a skim cut, another 20,000, so high speed tool bit, auto feed about 4,000 revolution. Put her in the back gears, getting a lot of drag on. Getting a lot of drag on the gears.
I changed my tool to a, a cheap Harbor Freight style insert tool. Same feed, speed, RPM and all that. Seem to be getting a lot better cut. Okay, we're going about 10 thou, maybe 15. Have good, uh, good luck on the first one. It's my second cut with this insert. That was the first time for uh, an insert with this machine. Getting the nicest chips I've ever gotten, but my motor's bogging a bit. I have to put a new motor on it. The old motor's finally kind of big, biting the big one. All right, we'll take one more cut. Okay, 15,000 cut. It's pretty heavy for this machine. Like I said, with that weak motor. But this insert's cutting a lot easier than that ice piece, ice piece steel. So, I increased the speed up to around uh, 3.30 and lo and behold, the insert's cutting 100% better. The machine's not bogging out. Take a measurement there and we'll see where we're at. 
This was built up with two passes of 7018 shield metal arc electrode. I used that welding positioner uh, to build up the, the profile. So, I don't know if that's going to focus or not, we're looking for uh, two and a quarter or 2.166 and we're at uh, two inches, 0 0.2, 200 thousandths, so we're looking about taking 40 thousandths off. Alright, so I'm going to do that and we'll come back. Right, I'm just going to take a spring cut here and reset my depth. Takes us maybe close to 20 on the overall. We're struggling now. Take a reading now. We're at uh, two inches and ninety thousandths. We need uh, two point one hundred sixty-six thousandths. So we're going to shoot for twenty over, or uh, take another twenty off. It off. I'm going to take another measurement to set my angle on my tool so I can come in closer to my end of loop spline gears there. Alright, we're going down to our final uh, 2.125 to the quarter inch rough cut. We need to go in 35,000. We'll go 10, which should be 20. Guess you can really hear that uh, motor working, huh?